Bay 93.9, it's the catch up with Daryl and Roxwell, thanks to Wombat Gully Plant Farm. They've got new stock arriving every day. Now, we have been talking about barbecuing today, and that is because of two very special guests who are draw- joining us, Rayan and Mark, two Geelong locals who are the team behind the barbecue and brew show. Like, who's not going to love that? Now, guys, welcome Hello, to the studio. Hello, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, yeah. Now, Rian, we've known each other for a while. You sent me a bit of a media release around the fact that your because of your sh- podcast, you guys are going to be um, guests at a huge meet event yeah. um, in Sydney. And I said, huh? When did you start barbecuing? So tell us the story. Give us the 101. Yeah, so I mean, uh, Mark and I have been sort of running podcasts via Instagram uh, for a couple of years now. Uh, we just happened to yeah, just interview the... The, pretty much the organiser for Meatstock, uh, which is basically a barbecue and music festival. Uh, it's in Melbourne, Toowoomba and Sydney. So we've got Sydney left. Um, and yeah, basically we got invited to come in, do some interviews while we're there. And they said, hey, while you're here, how would you like to uh, jump on the stage and host Meet the Pitmasters, which is amazing for us to uh, get there. And, oh my gosh. Yeah, so we've got some American Pitmasters and, and Aussie So you guys barbecue serious at home, don't you? A little bit too much, uh, yeah. It's still <laughs> backyard barbecues. Like, I've got no, you know, cooking background or experience like that. So it's really just... Most good barbecue people don't have any cooking <laughs> background. <laughs> right. I think it's better that way. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just fun to experiment, right? So it's yeah. all just come out from sort of the COVID situation. We're all sort of locked in the mm-hmm. house. And we thought, what can we do? And we thought, well, we, let's get to barbecuing yeah. a bit. And we uh, started, you know, taking photos on Instagram and sharing it with each other. And then we found out there's this big, huge community on Instagram. Gosh. And they just well, sort of embraced us, and it was great. You know? <laughs> the whole the whole charcoal smoking thing is huge in the US, um, and it's catching on here. I think, isn't it? Daryl no, smokes. I, I ad- mean, ad- you know, as in barbecue <laughs> smokes, not any other smoking. <laughs> no, look, it, it's <laughs> quite on huge. Like Australia, if you go, if you went five, when Mark and I was started the rib appreciation stuff and started uh, reviewing ribs. Smoke, but Rib Appreciation Society. I mean, <laughs> okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and that, back then it was just you know, a bunch of restaurants doing boiled ribs, you know, cooked cooked up, and we were we were reviewing them like they were <laughs> five, and we didn't know any better. Fast forward six, seven, eight years. Now, we can't go to a restaurant anymore. We so can't go to a restaurant and order <laughs> ribs anymore, <laughs> uh, or any sort of barbecue, yeah, because yeah, it is it's it's caught on, and the last two years have really amplified it. We've got a because whole bunch of COVID. Of people, yeah, well, people, people are at home, are at home yeah. of course, and yeah. and guys at home a little bit bored no one else to play with what do they do they want a barbecue and they want to drink beer yeah and we did that and what we found was a massive community just in all around australia who are happy to help and talk and spread the love of barbecue which which i guess we kind of fell in love with yeah incredibly and started a show so that's all right so i suppose while we're here um first up rianne your favorite type of barbecue what's your go-to I do like a Weber, Weber yep. kettle. Yep. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so I've got a couple of barbecues, but that, I keep <laughs> saying that if I start it again, I'd start with a Weber kettle. Yep. Uh, it does everything, low and slow, as well as, you know, grilling. on. Uh, so this is like, like I've got I've got a baby Q and then, then I've got the big one. Is that what we're no, talking about? No, we're talking about charcoal. And, and, oh. And, yeah, so... Oh, this using, is like the old school yes, Weber. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you're using charcoal? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we sort of do that. And I mean, for me, it's just, you know, I love going low and slow with it. Put some smoking woods through it and get yep. some ribs right. on there. Ribs are my favourite on there, yep. obviously. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah no, well. obviously. Okay. <laughs> and Mark, what's your uh, go-to? So I use a Traeger pallet smoker. So okay. that's right. uh, little bits of wood that go through an auger. And it's really because it's a set and forget type of smoker. Yep. So I've got small kids and I'm a bit lazy. So I like the fact that I can... Set my barbecue up. So is that, a, is that like a, a cold smoke, a warm smoke? Is it's, it's, it's all it's just all the fire. So it's all a little yep. fire pit inside the um, smoker itself. Yep. Um, but instead of having to go and set up coal, which could take 30, 40, 40 minutes, Use I, can, little pallets. I can push a button and it's done in 15. Um, I can uh, look. It's, it's not uh, right, uh, is it? No, it's That's not. Uh, right. Some people in the community don't say that, but you know, <laughs> like, uh, I'm quite happy to say, look, when you've got small kids and you want sort of time, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, easy yeah, to yeah. manage no, and you can enough, do the long, enough. slow cook. Mind you, Rayan does have small children as well, but he seems to manage it. Anyway, <laughs> that's just an aside, no it's judgment. Just, it's a way to look. You know, I found if you got the yeah. Weber, you can set it up. All you got to do is just pre-think. Whereas yeah. normally people walk out, turn the barbecue on, That's five minutes me. later they're cooking. That's me. Well, just give it another half hour. Go no. out there, light it up, then you go away, have a drink, must come be back. A guy thing. All right. So today we're talking about your barbecue secrets. Are you prepared to share a secret each? Just with one. Us? Just, one. just one. Absolutely. I mean, my biggest—it's not even a secret. It's just sort of is to use just good quality meat. 
Oh. You know, a lot of people go into, especially the low and slow stuff, if you're losing cheap cut of, you know, ribs from a supermarket or yep. ribs from, you know, you know yeah. the local or local supermarket, you kind of just don't have the enough enough meat or fat in there to yeah. actually cook it through. So go to your enough. butchers and ask for what you want and yeah, he'll absolutely. be able to sort and you out. A lot of local Geelong butchers now carry an incredible range of uh, low and slow barbecue meat. There you go. Oh, and wow. in Rian's case, it's ribs. Yes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's... Now, yeah, what's yeah. your secret? I was going to say the most important thing I realised was getting a thermometer. So oh, being yeah. able to check ah. the internal temp of some meat. So it takes away that whole guesswork. So initially you'd cook or overcook or undercook. Yeah. But with a, you can get there's some cheap ones you can get or you can get ones part yeah. of your smoker. Particularly if you're going low and slow, yeah. you mm. need that oh, internal temp. Because you, it's, it's been there for a couple of hours, you take it off, still raw inside because you need the thermometer. But if you're, even if you're doing like a rack of lamb, right? Yep. And that's, you do it hot, right? So at 500 Fahrenheit, you want to do it for sort of 20 minutes. But yep. you, you don't probe it, you might overcook it and therefore you've ruined a really oh, expensive meat. Oh, don't be overcooking meat. the lamb. Yeah, <laughs> never do that. Now, so guys, you came in with a couple of bundles here. What's this about? Yeah, so I'm I've uh, done a bit of a collaboration locally with the Geelong uh, Smoked Brisket and the Port Avenue Cakes and Pies, um, and we're creating a pie for the Aussie Pie Competition. Oh, wow! Um, so this is the uh, first iteration of a uh, smoked brisket pie with a with a gentle hint of jalapeno um, <gasps> that sort of uh, you just baked this morning. And this is with Porter Avenue Pies and, and Cakes. Ca- cakes, yeah. Uh, it's Corey there, and I've got Dave from uh, Geelong Smoke Brisket there as well, creating some amazing brisket in the neighbourhood, which is great for me because I, I mean, I'm in Hyden. Yeah. So I can literally, yeah, two minute drive. Mm. I'm sorry. And you can have this, and you bought them in for us? Yes, these are for you guys. Oh. These not not far from my place either. I'll have to try <laughs> Perfect. that. Check Perfect. If people want to know more, what's the best way to catch up with you guys? Uh, I mean, me personally, it's probably just uh, Rube Appreciation on most of the socials so Facebook, yep. Twitter, and uh, Instagram. And, all and that. the podcast is. Is the barbecue and yes. brew show yeah. so all your platforms where you get your podcasts it's on YouTube as well and mm-hmm. uh, marks the uh, the barbecue and the geek yes there you go oh, the barbecue barbecue the technology the there. thank you for coming in <laughs> thank you for the food and uh, keep barbecuing thanks guys thanks, thanks guys. for having us it is the catch up here at Bay 93.9 <laughs>